All right, so the next thing we're gonna do right now is we are going to wire up our add to do component so that when we handle cement, if you remember, it was actually putting into this local state to do's and it renders itself here, here in just a second, I'll log in. But what we wanna do is we want it to go to the fire, to Firebase, right? To uh, Firestore. So let's go ahead and log in quick. Hello. Now that we're logged in, we can add a to do. Here's a to-do right there. Here's another to-do. We're not doing, so right now it's being saved to the to-do's local state. We're not sending it to our Firebase, right? So the first thing that we are gonna do right now is we are going to, let me add that part of the code in our to-do so that you can see how easy it is to implement. So let me go ahead and import all the things that we need. Actually, we don't need that add button for now. And then we also need use auth, which I will explain to you in just a second. Yeah, a lot of these are in a different location. We're not doing actions right now either, but we are doing a DB. So let me fix this. provider so we have our database which we have access to now we have the ability to add a document which is provided by firebase and also add something to a collection right so to access the collection rather right so the code for this is actually really really simple so before we get started though I want to explain a couple things about uh, firestore itself so let's take a look at firestore there's the Firestore database. The way we're gonna do this is, so the way it works is you can have a collection of, you can start a collection, name it something like to-dos, and you can have one collection of all to-dos for all of your users if you wanted to, and then just assign a user UID to it so that you can query it and pull all user to-dos that belong to that user. That's one way to do it. The way that we're gonna do it is we're actually gonna go a step further. We're actually gonna create a collection of users or customers or however you want to name it. And then from there, so for example, let's do a collection of users, all right? And in that collection, we are gonna create a document based on their ID. So we're just gonna go create an ID. Let's pretend that's the user ID. And then there, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Here we go. So now we have a collection of users. We have one user with an ID, one, two, three, four, five but I actually want to create a collection for that user. So a collection of to-dos specifically for that user. So now we're not having just one collection for all users that we can query. We want it specifically for the user so that we can avoid any issues with, with data access and things like that. So we're gonna create a collection called to-dos, okay? And then we're just gonna pretend this first to do is that. So now we have a user based on their ID and then they have their own collection of to do's and the first to do is called to do one and with some data and so on. That's just an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of this entries so we can start from the beginning. I just wanted to simply show you how we are gonna set up our database for it. And so let's go back to our app, there it is. Okay, and in our to do, okay, so in our, in our handle submit add to do, we are gonna put all of our code to save it to Firebase. So basically, save to Firebase. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that code because we don't wanna use this local state anymore. Instead, what we want to do is we want to use this code. So, and I'll explain all of this steps to you here in just a second. Okay. So what's happening here is, well, first of all, what we need to do is we need to grab user, which is the auth user. And we're going to use our use auth hook. If you remember, it's gonna either provide us with null or it's gonna provide us with the user information, 
right? And then there's actually another way to do this, but we're gonna leave it at that. And then what we're gonna do is we have our normal code here that creates the to-do with the timestamp and with the, whether it's completed or not. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna initialize the reference to that collection, which is the database, a collection called users, and then the user UID. So we're gonna use the, our current user's UID as an identifying ID. And then we're gonna to go to the collection of to-dos for that user. All right, we don't have loading state here, but we can add that. In case we wanna use it. Oops. Okay, so we now have that. We also wanna make sure that this function is in a sync function because we are going to use await when we are adding a doc. So again, let's go back. We create a reference to the database collection for that user. We set loading and then we go ahead and initiate creating the document by using the add doc. So if you're wondering where that's from, that is imported from Firebase that's provided. We use add doc and feed it the reference that we created initially, which is right up here. And then we give it the data that we want to save. Okay, so really we could actually get rid of this because we already created it. And we can just put object, okay? Which is this object. If there's any error, we're gonna console to log the error. Finally, regardless, we are gonna set the loading false. And then we are going to reset the input of to do to empty it and then refocus back so we can continue adding, all right? Let me though, make sure that that to do input is good to go. We, looks like we're ready to go. So let's give it a shot. So let's add a to do order grocery, I could type, okay. As you can see now, it is no longer saving it to the local because there's nothing being rendered. Instead, if we go to our Firestore collection, let's go to rules and come back in, we'll notice that there's now an entry of to-dos for our user with to-dos and here's the ID of the to-do, and that is order grocery. So now that's working, let's add a couple more. Oops, we don't want that either. Let's add one more thing, go to the gym. And then if you see, there's already one right here, go to the gym. Now we have to-dos present, right? So we have it wired up to be able to add our to-do, which is awesome. I think our next step here is we wanna be able to render those to-dos, right? Cause right now we don't have anything that's rendering over here. We were just doing those local stuff. So that's gonna be our next step. All right, gang. So our next step is that we're gonna need to be able to render our to-dos from Firestore that we've added into our one of our components in our app. So actually the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this code because we're no longer using it. And we actually want to render all of our to-dos in a different component. We want the form to serve its own purpose and its own component. So we're gonna separate the concern. We're also gonna get rid of this because we are currently not using the to-dos anymore. Let's see if there's any breaking, nothing is breaking. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And then what I have done is I've already created a component file called to-do list. So let's go to that. And I'm just gonna go out and paste the code and then we can talk a little bit about it. So first and foremost, this is gonna be a client component because we are gonna use use effect. Let's paste that on there. We're gonna fix this because we know that we want the client app. Okay, that's perfect. We're gonna need use auth because we will definitely need information about the user in order, or their UID in order to be able to save to the database. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our component. Oops. Okay, cool. All right, and we also wanna make sure that we export default this thing. Beautiful. And then let's get a div going here. <clears throat> My auto is a little slow right now. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and save that for now. 
All right, so we have our to-do component. And let me go ahead and just grab some of this logic here. So first and foremost, we do end up using our own to-dos local state here, okay? We do grab the authenticated user's information because we're gonna need the UID here in just a little while, all right? And the next step that we need is we're gonna need a use effect. So let me go ahead and implement that. For this, we want this to run only when the app has loaded, but we also want to use a, the auth dependency because if a user is logged out, we want this thing to stop, uh, to run again, and so it's not feeding the to-dos. And if the user is logged in, we want to make sure that uh, it runs again to make sure that it's pulling the to-dos and it updates it and so on, okay? So the first check that we're gonna do, if there is no auth, right, we're just gonna return. Check that out, it did a lot of the work for me. So let's go ahead and add that on just to make, let's just double check everything to make sure that everything is correct. First and foremost, so the way this works is we're gonna create a to-do ref again, just like how we added a to-do. We get a reference to grab the collection or at least to, to find a collection for that user. We're going to use the UID for the user, right, to access that. And then we're going to go to that user's to-dos collection. So that's the reference to the collection. I actually don't like how this is set up. We're going to actually call unsubscribe on this. So that when the component unmounts, we stop the subscription, right? So unsubscribe, we do not need that to-do. Nice try. All right, right now, so we have, we're, we're gonna use what's called an on snapshot. Basically what it does is that it takes in a reference of a collection and then whenever there's any changes from that collection, it automatically updates our app, okay? So that's how it's gonna work. So the way that we're gonna do this is that, so right now we have let to do, we can use to do's in here only because we're using let, which is local, so we can we can make that work. It works all right. And if there is a snapshot, what we'll do is we'll push all of the document from the snapshot, grab the data, the ID for the document, and add it on also, and then we set it to do. Now, I'm gonna add one more layer here. If snapshot. not empty that's the only time we're gonna actually run okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add that code inside here okay so again let's do this again so if the snapshot is not empty if the collection that's being returned or the data that's being returned is not empty this is a key within the uh, return value of snapshot that we can check. It's either true or false. And then what we can do is we're gonna go through the snapshot itself, and then we're gonna push to-dos with the data and the ID to make sure we include that, okay? If you want to see it, we can console it. So let's go ahead and console.log. to do is before it's added and then we can run it so but well actually we can't run it yet because we actually need to add this component let's do this for now to do list that way we can have something that renders and then in the page layout we're going to import to do list component all right and let's go ahead and add that down here. It should, if it's done correctly here, there it is. It now pulls, it's now reading data from our database. If I add another one, pick up grocery, you'll see that it's automatically the snapshot, this listener, it's, a, it's an event listener to our database. 
is automatically updating and adding to our UI, to our data locally, pulling it rather, right? So you have your order grocery, pick up grocery and go to the gym that's been added. So now the next step really is just, we just need to make sure that all the to-do lists will render down here, right? We have the data, we just need to render it. So that's gonna be our next step. All right, so with our app now, if I were to add another one in here, we know that it is listening to the events of our database and continues to up update our app when there's anything that changes within our data from Firestore. Okay, so that, that's working great. We just need to render this right now. Okay, so let's do, let's render in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Tailwind code here just so it renders properly and then over here we are going to render our to-dos now we actually don't need index if you remember me mentioning that's bad practice and instead of div let's use p for now I click save let's just make sure everything is good to go let's actually add some CSS on here all right we now have our to-do list rendering from our database let's get rid of these consoles because we already know it works let's add some more load to do and that's working that's pretty awesome so our next step for this is really, we wanna be able to say that it's completed. We also wanna be able to edit it if we wanna be able, if you wanna edit it. And we also wanna be able to just simply delete it, right? So those are functionalities that are currently missing. So why don't we do that and add those functionalities?